On this episode of Build Not Bought, we settle the score once and for all. Petrol versus diesel. All right, guys, so the time has finally come. A long awaited video of this one petrol versus diesel. So, we've got Church's GQ and my patrol. So, we'll run through a bit of what the cars are, but the whole video, the whole episode is a bit of fun, but it's also trying to show the different challenges and different, I guess, what's the word, perks or like. Oh, just the differences between dif diesel and petrol. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, there, there are benefits to both. Yeah, definitely. There's benefits to both. I've gone one way, Church has gone the other. Yep. So, just a bit of fun today, and we'll see what we get up to. But people who don't know already, so mine's running the LS, so it's a supercharged six liter horsepower. It's got about 450 horsepower and 880 Newton meters. So what we're trying to do is really match these cars up. So in the petrol sense, that's what I'm running. And then Churchy's. Completely stock. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Um, just a TD42, dirty, dirty diesel. Yep. Um, look, it's got a few little power mods. Um, nothing too, Some too flash. Some work, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Um, cam custom cam, there. aluminium flywheel. And the power is? Uh, that's debatable, but um, it made 320 on the hub. So. And then torque's about? Torque's 800. Yeah, so pretty similar match up. Around 800 torque each. A little bit more horsepower and revs in this. Yep. A little less, but obviously you've got bigger tyres. Stuff like Slightly bigger tyres, so but yeah. Not a super scientific test, obviously, with things like ratios are a bit different. But bit of fun. The power is pretty similar, so I'm really excited. I'm actually curious to see what's going to happen here. I think we're going to get lots of trenches in this nice flat yeah. ground. We're trying to be working out sort of the best challenges to do, and we were doing a bit of, you know, planning the other day, having a bit of a discussion, and... Um, very civil. Very civil discussion. Tag Alex no, the world. Why think? would you even go that way? No, but these are f***ing, they're standard. Petrol. This hey. is the future though, it's the future. You had to even... the technology? This is like 2012. You had to put a charger on right to even work. You understand? You throw belts no, left, right should. and centre. Yeah. So Sam, we're in the middle of this paddock, and I'm still wondering, what are we doing today? I know, sorry, it's middle week day. Oh, speaking of the devil, the first challenge is here. Yeah, so, here we're we out on the farm today, we've got a bit of space, and we'll see what they have decided mm. for us. When I say they, it was me, but that's <laughs> Challenge Let's number one, four-wheel drives are big. Wow. Big because they normally tow big things. Wow. Wow. Let's see how much pulling power you really have. Starting the day off with an old school tug of war. 10 points will be awarded to the winner. Oh, Let's go. Let's see how we go. Let's do it. All right guys, so we've set up this apparatus now. We're at the tug of war challenge. Now what we've done is we've set up a winch rope. Yes, a winch rope to each car through a snatch block. We've done that because now we can see the cars next to each other and see who gets in front rather than side to side throwing dirt and shit over the other person's car. Not fun. So pretty much we can do what we want. We can go low range, high range, lockers, full wheel drive. And when the hammer drops, pretty much go until the other car, well, we need to decide when to stop. Obviously you don't want to run them back into the tree. So a good two or three meters and it's quite obvious what's going on. Just watch the other person and we'll see who tugs the best. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> All right, so I've got High range, first gear, the lockers are in. If I yell, can you, can you hear me? Hang time. Three, two, one, go. I've got mud all in my car. If, <laughs> if you come pull me out, you get 10 points. All four wheels are spinning. Yeah, I'll take a deduction for that. That, that was more satisfactory than Was it anything. 10 or 20 points? That was 10, I'm pretty sure. So I'll give you five, because 
I get five back for this. Mate, you oh. can have all the points. That was so Talking much fun. What about points? The next challenge is here. I'll oh. let you read this one. Because I'm the I winner. I believe that. We're both Nissan owners. We should be friends, not enemies. Yeah, diesel petrol. If I can get this out. Uh. Challenge number two. All right, what do we got? We must now see who is fastest with a drag race off-road. Oh, 15 okay. points. All right. Time to make it up, I think. What do you reckon? 15 points. Petty or diesel? All right, guys. So we're here at the third, second challenge. Sorry. We've got the sprint. It's pretty much just a power drag race challenge, but being four-wheel drives off-road, obviously. Yeah. So. Well, we're just going to bog straight into this stuff. But That's all right. It'll be fun. But I Why think not? the tactic will be to take off slow and then just stay that way. The <laughs> tactics and you don't go hand in hand. Yeah, so our start point is up the back there. We've got a little post, probably can't see it, but we've stepped out 100 metres. And then we're those at the trees over there, right? Yeah, we're pretty much at the finish line now. Mm, right. So not, nothing too hard this one. We'll just see who gets over the end first and what, Stomp it and go. Points. Yeah, 15 points. Beautiful. May the best man win. <laughs> go ahead. I'm going to drop the clutch and hope for the best. Um, I reckon we're just going to bog right in and I'm not going to have... I reckon, I reckon I'll, we'll be sort of neck and neck to half road, but... I, I don't even know who won that. No, I got no idea. But it's it's it made sense because you had it at the start. Yeah, yeah. And I then got the, the talk at the beginning, and yeah. then you come in with the revs, so it makes sense. Oh, yeah. I think we have to take that back to a <sighs> That's camera. Gonna, yeah. Do you know who won? It's so close. It's so hard to see. Well, we've got we've had the first challenge, no clear winner. <laughs> second winner, uh, sorry, second challenge, no clear winner. So this is it, eh? I reckon it's going to have to come down to the camera. Yeah. So look, we'll, we'll we'll work it out. I'll, I, who's going to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a dude. Look at that. If that it is deadline. I reckon we just need to go again. I reckon it's up we for call debate. It a draw oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Why All right, we'll call it a draw. draw. What did I say in the last one? Oh, there'll be a clear winner. Yeah, it'll be a clear winner. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I reckon if my canopy was off, I would have had you. Polish. Talking shit. Polish. Yeah. No, that's how it goes. No, nah, that was good. I reckon yeah. um, that couldn't have worked out any better. It was it was a direct uh, result that showed yeah. my my talk off the off the line. And then once I hit my rev limit, it was literally, you just pulled. Neither so. of us are happy nor sad. <laughs> no, it was it was a good neutral result. So. Yeah, I'm just um, stalling yeah. so Brent can come into the... Keeps forgetting what he's oh, doing. Sorry, oh, there it is. We're having a chat. Speaking of the devil. All right. Challenge number three. <laughs> they say the bigger your car, the smaller your penis. Let's see who can make the biggest roost. <laughs> okay. All right. No sense, but no points for this challenge. Just a nice hat to wear. Oh, dear. Hat. What the f? What hat are you talking about? That? All right. I better win this song. All right. <laughs> About here it disappears. Oh, he's got a tape measure. Right, how long is his tape measure? So we'll go in the middle of, middle the, of the tread. Middle of the tread. Where it kind of. Well, I mean, where do we. You reckon that line? <laughs> yeah, where I'm at. It's sort of where it disappears. Bang on seven meters. Yeah. All right, seven meters. All right, this is the roost challenge. I reckon I got him on this. Absolutely got him. Congratulations. God damn it. He's taking another one again. Do you like my hat? Diesel. That's it, diesel. I did have you on the second run though. So, oh. Here's our next clue. Nice jumper. <laughs> What's next? 
can't get any worse. Challenge number four. Amongst the many reasons people buy four-wheel drives, fuel economy is generally not one of them. You must now fill up in the nearest ah. service station, make your way to Caltex EN ship, brim the tank again and calculate your economy. Mm. You will earn one point for every litre under 10 and, lose, and lose a point <laughs> for every litre over. Challenge. All right, let's go lose another mm. one then. <laughs> Got this one in the bag. Yeah. So it was about an hour's drive to our next destination, which took us, let's say, a bit longer than that. It's driving like nanas. It's the only way. Done mine. We, I'm using Google Maps because we want to make sure that we get the same distance for both of us. 80 kilometres, won't show you where we are. So 80 k's and then I got my receipt here, 15.54 litres. So do the maths, 15.54 divided by 80. 19.4 litres per 100. That's a record for me. We'll see what Josh gets, but I'm happy with that. So which means I lost nine points because <laughs> nine litres over the 10 mark. Oh god. So I did mine, mine was 19 point, what was it, 19.5 or something. So we went 80 k's. So yeah, 7.11, holy shit, that's it. Oh, hang on, so that Seven, was, no, wait, 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 never mind. I just calculated price and I was at 14 litres. <laughs> then I realised, let's go off the literage, flick yeah, that man. over. <laughs> on the way from there to here. What is a standard TD do? I got 8.8 .8 litres per 100. 8.8 .8 litres per 100. So you've actually made some points there, you've got two I points. I actually gained two points. I after. lost nine. <laughs> that's called driving like a nana. <laughs> yeah, you were very much a nana, you were behind. I should have gone in the slipstream behind you. All right. 8.8. .8. Yeah, I think crazy. that's a record for TDs anywhere. 8.8, .8, four threes, 40s, and a fair bit of horsepower, so I don't know. Setting records here today. Yeah, well, <laughs> got our next challenge here. Did you read myself. the last one? Um, yes. yes. Okay, challenge number five, let's get bogged. Hmm. You must now attempt to snatch out the Hilux from a bog. You lose one point for every metre of slack in the rope. Beautiful. Right. Oh. Who's Hilux? We've got one with us. We're going to have to use that. Brent's up. Let's go. 8.8. .8. Guys, I'm just about to hit the road to head over to New South Wales for the Sydney Fall Drive shows. I'm going to be there on display. The whole shebang's going, so the Bill Not Bought truck will be there to check that out. But the weekend before that, on the 31st of August, I'm going to be running my show and shine event. It's called Show Your Dirt, where you can bring your car down to be put on display next to some of the biggest, baddest rigs in your state. There'll be food vans, there'll be drinks, there'll be giveaways, there'll be prizes and competitions to be a part of. So make sure you come down to check that out if you have a four-wheel drive. So make sure you head down to the show, guys. I'm going to hit the road. It's a long way from WA to New South Wales, so I'm going to get going, guys. I'll see you later. I'll see you there. So typical Hilux. Typical bogged. Hilux. Didn't take very long. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't let a patrol get bogged, but he doesn't have lockers in the front, so the front's half stuck in. On the other side, it looks a bit deeper, but yeah. the idea, obviously, we're going to pull it, and what was it? Every meter of slack. Yep. We lose a point. We lose a point. So, so we're trying to. We've we've got him as bogged as we can. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can replicate that in the second pool. But um, now with someone like this, I think you can learn a lot from watching the person before you. So that's true. Paper, scissors, rock. All right. Paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> Paper, scissors, rock. Oh. Paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Ah, oh, we win. go. So do best I of three to... or what? <laughs> no, you're up. I'm up. All right, here we go. Thanks. Hey. Zero points you lost. Oh yeah. So let me need to get the highlights bogged again, eh? Push back. <laughs> back in the hole. Back in the hole. <laughs> okay, now as I'm doing this, I'm wearing this ridiculous hat. 
windows up this time because I learned that lesson last time. And I'm going to go both lockers in now. I've actually gone high range as well, so we'll see how this goes. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. That's how it's done. High range worked a treat. All right. What a surprise. Yeah, almost a draw again. Again, this yep. whole challenge has just been tick for tack, like yeah, one of those much. things. But we're here maybe in the dunes. Just, maybe you just built them too well. Well, that's right. <laughs> here we are, next challenge. We're in the dunes, so we're going to do a couple more things here. Oh, oh, it's actually it's, sealed. Sealed it up. Oh, you do the honors for this one. All right. Hill climb time. From a wow. standstill, you must accelerate up the dunes as far as possible. You will get one point for every meter past the highlights. The Hilux strikes back again. Ooh. All right, so we'll find a dune, and Hilux is up. All right. Be somewhere near the bottom, but we're going to see how far we go. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a Toyota thing. Let's do it. All right, we found a hill which has a little bit less of a impact at the start. It's a nice little roller, and then it gets super steep. So we don't want to be going over the hill. It's about getting as high as we can go. So Hilux is setting the mark. Let's see what he can do. Let's go. So for every meter past that, we get a point. Or if you can't get that far, then you lose a point or just get laughed at pretty much. <laughs> Here's our mark. Part about this whole thing is the bloody sombrero won't fit. <laughs> sombrero. All right, ready? Put a mark. Whose idea was it to walk up here? <coughs> Crap idea. So which was it's which? It's worse walking up with a so that was shot. That's, that's high lux. So this is high lux. I got a meter. That's like you can tape measure it if you want, but. It's, it's how many meters, so. All right, so. It's about a meter. Yeah, a meter. Maybe. The official count. One meter. One meter. <laughs> Which you is, keep it there. Yeah, but what was the challenge? How many a meters? Point. Yeah, so I get one point. You got one point. All right. You get. Do you get 4.6? <laughs> Round it up to five. Five, oh, five I'll points. He's giving me points. All right, time to score. I've prepared right. a scoreboard. Jump over this side and we can go through what we Four. did. So what did we do first? We did the drag race. So, uh, no, we did this pull. Pull, pull yeah, was pull number first. one. So, that was, was a call draw it, um, again. Oh, not really. It was then I pulled you out and roosted you. So then it was, it was ten ball. points for the win, but then I roosted you, so it was minus five. So that's right. So yeah. I was giving you ten points for pulling me out. Yeah, and you it. lost five points because you sprayed me happily. So you get five, I get zero. The so there was, was a the drag race. Drag race. So and that was the... that was a draw. Oh. Again, a draw. Well, how many points was that? 15 for a 15. draw. 15, so we'll give us both 15 points because we both four. won, but we both lost. And then oh. we had... Three was the... Roost. Uh, roost, yeah. Which I got my prize right here. Yep. No points so, for that. No points. So we'll leave that and then we went to economy, didn't we? Yes, we did. Indeed. Economy challenge. I'm just setting myself up for fatty here. <laughs> so the EK. EK. You blew it away with... Yeah, 8.8 .8 litres per 100. Yeah. So, so what, how many points was that? Minus, was like 10 points? No. Oh. Minus... Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry, sorry. So two points. Minus My two. mistake. Yeah, minus two. No, well, ga plus, two. plus two. Oh, it's permanent marker. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got plenty of space. Start again. Try on the other no, side. <laughs> All right, so EK plus was two. plus two. And then I and lost. You were nine. Nine, minus nine. 19, so nine points. Minus nine. It's not looking okay. good. Okay. <laughs> and then we came here. And then we did the Mighty Hilux. So we had to pull the Hilux out, who yeah. was... Uh, so this that was, was that was pool. a draw again, wasn't it? We both we both threw. Well, it was square. You lose a point for every meter, meter of slack, so zero, zero, zero. So yeah, we was draw. Yeah. And then what we just did. So um, that hill was hill climb. Hill. So that was. Uh, you got. I got. Four point six points or five you points. Got five. And, and I you got, got one. <laughs> Fifteen. Take nine plus. What does that equal? Fifteen. Twenty-three. Is that? No, it's not right. 
I don't know my math. And he's an engineer. Six plus one. I got this, people. 15 take nine is six plus one. Seven, lucky number seven. So what am I? 20, 20 five, seven, 27. Oh, there we have it, folks. Don't ever put diesel an LS in your car. Diesel is the victor. All if right. you've got an LS in your four-wheel drive, rip it out, put a diesel in it. So I can be the only one in Australia. <laughs> so maybe we should just be putting a ZD back in yours. It's a plan. I think everyone would froth over that one. <laughs> Like stock? Twin turbo. Oh, no, 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 right. no. Take the turbo off, stock a ZD. So it'll be like the Hilux might have gone in the truck. Yeah. Oof. Oh, we'll froth over that. Why don't you win some points? <laughs> Look, the Hilux got one metre below me on the hill, so they're good at something, right? <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoy. Eww. Bit of a piss take this, but look, the results don't lie. Nothing so... scientific at all. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I want to do a big shout out to a man, Jared, on the camera from No Man Design Studio for coming down and filming today, as well as the boys who got Brent and Patrick helping out with the cameras. Eww. And Josh, of course, for coming on the episode, bringing the big rig. It's been a long time coming, this one, because we've always been in the shed, eh? Pretty Something's much, it's been always cars. broken or at yeah. some point of upgrade. So. But we're at the stage where yeah. they're both almost 90% finished. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Peace. You want to slam it? All right. You're getting good at this. <laughs> These vids are so lit. So lit. <laughs> These vid, this vid is so lit, you need to subscribe. Is that good? This vid is so lit. You need to surprise me. That's what I was... <laughs> that's what, no, that's yeah, what I, no, that's like, all right. Yeah, it's, we were camera. talking about tugging before, and now, <laughs> now I'm not sure what's going on. No, back, back, back. Yeah, that. Flick it across. Uh, I'll do it for real. <laughs> on a side note, though, the camera car has encountered a bit of a problem. <laughs> jumping again. He was jumping his patrol. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and this happened. Uh, At least uh, it wasn't the CV or dip or something. Yeah. Oh, that's Shit. that's the best bit. We got all these bloopers. We need a bigger hill. Okay, let's we'll do this. Thing. Yeah, okay. This oh, all, right. all right. Are we going? Yeah. So we've just been ripping around in this thing, you know, on the flat. But there's a jump over there. I'm gonna jump that. But first, you got to hit subscribe. <laughs>